Good morning. Ah, came back from my walk. A little cold, but nice day today. Um, fixing up my hair, and then gonna head to the kitchen after this. cold again. I'm gonna have more rain but don't mind it. Perfect to be indoors and nice and relaxing. Got an apple. I'm gonna start the morning. First things first. So how's everyone doing? My morning's pretty well. Um, cold, but not too bad. So, trying to keep warm. Got the heater in the room. So, well worth it. Um, yesterday, went to buy something from Costco. Little um, packaged pastries comes in a big bag. Um, they're small, kind of squarish, but they're pretty good. Um, but I don't know, pretty much it. Starting out with an apple, Fuji apple, they're so good. So, last time I showed you guys how to make something healthy using that and grapes. One apple and grapes cut in half. So, still working on coming up with some other stuff. Um, last night, no thunder, but rain. But not bad, weather-wise. Um, we shall see what the weather looks like for the rest of the week. You guys get any more rain? Comment down below. Um, but so far, cooperative weather. Nothing too bad, nothing too severe. But, perfect temperature. Can bundle up with a blanket. Or... Or a thick sweater. Um, pretty much. Rainy days. Some people like to pretty much stay in bed. Don't want to get up because it's too cold. I'm up wide awake. And depends on person to person. But if you're a morning person, then. You jump out of bed, ready for the day. Sometimes, others just want to stay in, sleep in. But, oh, up to you. Mm. Love Fuji apples. They are so good. I keep you full for quite some time, pretty much until mid-morning or mid-afternoon, depending on when you eat it. Perfect for healthy snack and for salad, but whatever you want to do with it. So many things. List is long. Don't want to mention too much, but a salad 
or you can put it in your smoothies if you wanted. But pretty much, lots to do with one apple that you can't really do with oranges or bananas, depending on what you're doing. So, perfect day to stay indoors, you won't have to go anywhere, took care of all the grocery shopping yesterday, so got more milk, gonna do oatmeal again, um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna add stuff to it, probably not, um, but if I do, I'm gonna cut it up tiny. Mash bananas. I'd probably mash them up first. And then put them in the oatmeal. Last time I did not, I got pretty full. I couldn't eat anything until like lunch. But quick and easy, it'll keep you full for a few hours. Oh, it works. So, comment down below if you like to add nuts to your oatmeal or bananas cut into thin slices or any dried fruit in general. Possibilities are endless when it comes to oatmeal. Some people add actual sugar, but you don't have to. I know I don't, but fruit works. And the plans for the afternoon, I'm just going to be doing some art projects and if it dries up, maybe go for a walk. Obviously not when it's raining, but might do that. Um, in the evening, gonna go for another walk outside, and maybe check on some email after lunch, might do more art projects, don't know which ones yet, but got a full day plan, um, still planning out some content for you guys, but slowly but surely. I will come up with something. Have a whole container of potatoes. I ate some for breakfast yesterday with a couple of sausages and some apples with yogurt. So the apple and grapes 
that I did yesterday for you guys came out pretty good. Um, like a mini fruit salad, no pineapple, but pretty much whatever I had in the fridge. So, in case you guys did miss it, it's just slicing an apple and then cutting them into cubes, putting them in the bowl. Slicing the grapes in half, putting them in the bowl, adding in yogurt, mixing it up. And it's a healthy snack. You can take any time. Um, you can take it when you go out. Or mid-afternoon snack, whatever you want. Or just breakfast, depending on how hungry you are. But it'll keep you full for a good couple hours. I was full until about 5.30ish after eating it in the afternoon, so it works. Um, you can make a big batch of it and it'll last you a couple days. But you could make enough to last you a whole week if you wanted. So, so much you can do with whatever you've got in your fridge, fruit-wise. Um, but whatever you can think of, it works. Um, if you've done any healthy snacks of your own, with apples and peanut butter or honey, comment down below. But I'm working on coming up with some more stuff. So, just might surprise you guys, but content will come. Still planning everything out. And I'm gonna enjoy today. We'll see what's up.
So, I got plenty of stuff. Um, did a couple little salads with vegetables. So, those are out. Um, had a carrot salad two days before for dinner. And some pork. Um, Friday, just had squash and ground pork for dinner. Pretty good. So, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with that at some point. Because might do an omelet, maybe, or something else. We shall see. But coming up with some good recipes. Um, so what are you guys up to for the evening? Gonna hang out with the neighbors, or stay home, read a book, comment down below. But gonna have a pretty quiet evening, depending. Might hang around the house after going for a walk. Um, no laundry. That's Friday. So, I may just do other art project, or maybe talk on the phone with their family. We shall see. But, gonna finish up the apple and return <sighs> had an apple and I head to the kitchen so I'm gonna do a breaded omelet so cutting up the onions first just started a little bit um, so how's everyone doing pretty cold outside Came back from morning walk and nice weather, kind of cold, not bad. Um, how's everyone doing? Comment down below. Um, so, cutting up the onions and then gonna go in order. So, gonna Start with the onions, cut them up into small pieces, do the eggs, put the onion in, and then I'm gonna explain the next steps after I finish up. So, weather wise, perfect temperature. Um, sometimes cold weather makes everything get out of bed. But some people don't want to get up as cold. Can't blame them. But I'm wide awake. Um, you can use the heater if your room gets too cold. I do that technically. Or you can wear a sweater to bed and some socks. Keep your feet warm. Just some tips throwing out there. have a really thick blanket you can use that keep warm so whatever you like to do it works uh, cold March month but it's not bad so just about done Alright, the layers of onion. Lunchtime yesterday. Did you guys get any rain yesterday? A lot of thunder. 
but not bad. Um, perfect time to stay indoors. Don't have to go out. Luckily, nothing to worry about. Um, took care of groceries ahead of time. Comment down below if you can get some rain. But good for the plants. And perfect time to be indoors. Reading a book or taking care of some spring cleaning. And of course, if you have to, some vacuuming. But pretty much so much you can do. Um Either that or art projects. Okay, set the oven to side for now. I'm gonna grab a bowl. Ah, two eggs. Gonna feed it with a fork. Ah, so yesterday, um, neighbors came over. Brought some sweet tea from the house that they made. Um, Thai iced tea is pretty good. Um, perfect to drink on a warm day if it's too hot or any time of year. Um, process takes a while because you have to boil the water and black tea and other Thai tea, time consuming, so I won't be able to do that because I won't have any other stuff, um, but I will figure out something, um, still got plenty of milk from Costco, got three cartons of it, um, so I'll figure out what to do with it. Aside from oatmeal and cereal, um, but if I do figure something out, I'll do it in a video. So, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with all that milk yet. But, anyway, I'm just about done. Getting scrambled. Going to rinse the fork. more onion. Gonna cut up a little more.
small pieces. So that's just about enough. Cut them into strips first. And then small pieces. Make them as small as you want. And then I'm gonna add in the other stuff but doing one thing at a time. Egg is already in the bowl. So, if you guys never tried a breaded omelet, highly recommend it. Um, easy to make in the bowl. Just get your ingredients, whatever you're using. Two eggs. Break up a slice of bread into little crumbs and mix everything in. And heat it up for three minutes. So, real simple. You can make, make it with anything you want. Some people just do vegetables. I may try ground pork in there. So, perfect to experiment. Um, you can add tomato if you wanted. Or in some ham if you wanted. Cut it into small pieces first. So up to you. Just giving you some ideas. Um, so everyone's ready for a new day. I know I am. And I'm gonna do more art projects. Go for another walk. If weather cooperates. So far nice weather um, <clears throat> no rain in the morning so perfect temperature um, as far as errands don't have to go anywhere to grab anything um, so what are you guys doing today let me know down below um, any evening plans I don't have any but Maybe the neighbors will bring dinner. We shall see. Um, as far as that, um, tomorrow, I don't know what I'll be doing yet for a Sunday, but today's a Saturday, so I will figure out something. Um, nice weekend to relax. Do whatever you need to do. Um, but perfect time just to talk to neighbors or cook up a meal. So, breaded omelet. I've done one previously. Tastes pretty good. Um, the spinach and cheese omelet. Anyway, trying something else. So, gonna be with onion and ground pork. So, I have just about enough. Use two layers of onion. Still have more in the bag. Small plastic bag. So, you can use as much onions as you want. Um, you could do this with broccoli too, if you had any. I have not tried that, because I don't have broccoli around. Um, about peppers, you can do that. Or some celery. But whatever you've got, feel free to use it. Got one big piece here, I'm gonna cut it. Gonna wash the knife.
Okay. Hmm. Round pork time. Paper towel. bag open. Now I'm going to get the container open. Styrofoam. Two scoops. Gonna start with that. Brown pork. Okay, perfect. Count for queen. Clean. 33 seconds in the microwave. Ooh, it is cold. Ah, so, once that's done, I'm gonna take it out. Um, so, 
pretty easy to fix in the morning. Um, doesn't take too, too much of your time. Um, so, you could add all sorts of vegetables if you wanted. Um, could add spinach, like I did before. Uh, the broccoli, tomatoes, onion, like I did, celery, and whatever else you have on hand. So, going to take the spoon and get all the cholesterol out of it. Ground pork has a lot of it when they fry it at the store. This is it. So, get all this from Seafood City and Eagle Rock. This is pretty good. Got potato in it. So, gonna work. Just use the back of the spoon. I like to pour it on the plate first and move it. Pork is going in and just slide it off the plate. Perfect. I'm gonna grab a slice of bread and I'm gonna break it up into small pieces. Gonna start breaking up the bread and gonna return.
so got the bread broken up I'm gonna add in some other things got plenty of room so let's see Over cheddar. I'm gonna add that in. Uh, so have enough room to cut. I'm gonna cut it thin somehow. I need a sharp knife for this. There's one. I break it up into small pieces. Put it on top of the bread. Oh, it's very messy, but this is the fun part. So, ooh, perfect. So, <clears throat> you can do this if you wanted, but any cheese will do. Doesn't matter. Whatever you have, American vanilla too. So either way, omelet's gonna come out. Break it up into small pieces. No cheese grater, so you can do it. Um, so, technically you'd grate it, but don't have a cheese grater, so just make do whatever you've got. On um, my third slice, and I break it up, put it in the bowl. the thin slices. It's real easy to cut. Put it on top of the bread. Still have more of the bread to break up. But first, I'm gonna put the cheese in. So this is pretty simple. Um, it doesn't matter what order you start with. Either the ground pork first. <clears throat> or the onion, either way works. This recipe has no particular order, so whatever you feel, just go for it. So, got everything broken up here. Perfect. Feel free to rinse in between.
got leftovers, you may as well eat it. I'm gonna do that. Mm. Oh. Cheddar is pretty good. A little spicy. But. Not bad. Zip locks back in the drawer. the rest of the bread so I have some more So, you guys ever tried spicy cheddar cheese? Comment down below. Tastes pretty good. Um, you can use it for a sandwich or eat it by itself for a snack or add it to a salad. It works. So, so much you can do with it. Um, I've seen people add it to different salads, you can do that, or add it to a meal, so plenty of bread here. Gonna mix what I've got with a spoon. You can use one hand to check on everything is covered. Got onion. Perfect. Turning the bowl and keep mixing. So, gonna get everything blended. Add some other onion. Mixed in. So, this is like the last step. You just mix everything up. And if you need to, you could add in more bread. So, perfect. Evening out any little lumpy spots. Perfect. Pretty easy. So 
recipe is just two eggs and ground pork if you have any but you could also do just vegetables and ham or you can use onion add in whatever cheese you want if you want any you don't have to um, mix everything up microwave it for three minutes which is what I'm gonna do red pieces are broken Microwave open. Gonna put the bowl in. Make sure the area is clean. Gonna wash the plate first and then return. So, <clears throat> dishes are washed, three minutes in the microwave, so area is clean, <clears throat> perfect, in the meantime, gotta snack on the veggie chips while waiting so if you guys haven't tried dried green beans they're pretty good um you can add them to a salad eat them on its own um add them to your sandwiches pretty pretty good give it a little crunch mmm and not too salty so makes a great snack they are air fried and I did not do these but I'm sure you can find them in the stores um, 
which one, I am not sure. My neighbor got these. They are so good. So, like dehydrated green beans are oh, not bad. Um, perfect for snacking on. You can add them to a salad. I have not tried that. But, so much you can do with these. Um, so, if you've tried them, comment below. Um, so, still waiting for the omelet to cook. Um, so, you guys have any plans for the afternoon? I don't have too, too much. Except, I'm going for a walk. And... Doing some more art projects. Laundry is done. Took care of that yesterday. So I am good to go for a while. Mm. These are not bad. Slide the bag closed. done. Perfect top layer. I'm gonna take it out. Ooh, so, got its nice top layer of bread. I'm gonna let it cool completely. And perfect. <clears throat> so this is pretty easy to make. You guys want to try it? Perfect for breakfast. If you want to get your onions in on time. Um, and pretty creative. So all done. <clears throat> so, we might come up with some other omelets. We shall see. I haven't thought of any. Um, but, you guys have any suggestions, comment down below. Either something with vegetables, maybe a broccoli omelet, or something with tomatoes. Let me know in the comments. Um, but pretty much per perfectly done. Um, so this is real easy. You can make multiples for even one person. You just need multiple bowls if you're gonna do this. Or you could do a big bowl, crack, oh, I don't know, maybe six eggs and make enough for three people do that um but either way works uh, before this vlog gets way too long uh, i will end it here give it a like share with your friends subscribe if you're new follow me on facebook louise ariano and also on instagram uh, Luis Ariano, 23, changed my account because somehow, don't know what happened to it, um, sometimes when you reply to comments in there, they won't let you for some reason, bug fixes, so have a new account, so you'll follow me there, have videos, I put one up, um, have some pictures, did some little improvements. So, 
questions or comments, leave them below. Um, so for those who have asked Instagram, it's Louise Rayano23 now. So until next time.